must say that uh, Ebola at the beginning is like uh, the most common uh, disease we have in the in the tropics. So that means fever or diarrhea. So this is not specific for Ebola. And the, the most specific is the, the, the bleeding, the symptoms. So you will have uh, blood with diarrhea or uh, bleeding in the mouth and so on. But bleeding is uh, only, you know, we can say, only 40% of infected subject will develop bleeding. So at the beginning, it is very difficult to say that it is a Ebola or other diseases. You will see the, the, the most thing to see is uh, the lethality rate. It's, that is very high. And also the mode of person-to-person -person transmission. And also the contamination of the, um, the nurses in the hospital or the doctor in the hospital. So that is uh, uh, linked to uh, Ebola, Ebola disease. But at the beginning, it is very difficult to say that it's a Ebola or malaria or typhoid fever. What we are doing now, um, the, the, at, at the beginning, it was only um, the, um, the simple public health measures. So to break the chain of transmission in the community. And after that, we have the vaccine. The vaccine is very important. And we use two, two kinds of vaccine. Uh, the first is to, uh, we call that uh, ring vaccination. Uh, it means that we, uh, we will vaccinate the contact of the contact. First, we have uh, a positive case that we call the index case and we will vaccinate all people who are in contact with this index case and so on, the contact of the contact. So this is the first vaccine. And the second vaccine is to, to immunize uh, the population to have a herd immunity in the population. So that will stop the transmission of the virus in the community. make uh, uh, important progress um, in the study of uh, Ebola virus by developing the monoclonal antibodies to treat uh, Ebola cases and also um, the development of uh, two vaccines. Uh, this is the, the Merck vaccine and, uh, and also the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So. Um, this is the, the most important progress uh, we can mention in the field of, uh, of Ebola. When I started uh, our Ebola study, uh, everything was like a, a mystery. We call that uh, a mysterious disease. Uh, so our knowledge were very, very, very small very small in terms of uh, transmission of the disease, the treatment of the disease, the prevention of the disease, and uh, the reservoir of, the, of, of, of Ebola. All that were unknown, yes. But now, uh, thanks to our uh, development of science and uh, also genetics and many fields of, of science, uh, we have developed knowledge and we have now uh, a treatment uh, with monoclonal antibodies. Uh, one of uh, the monoclonal antibodies we develop in, in our uh, institute. And we have also vaccine. So um, the only thing we, we, uh, we need is to know the reservoir of the virus. Uh, until now, we don't have uh, the name of uh, the insect or uh, the animals that is the reservoir of the virus. So I think uh, we, we are now in good way to control uh, Ebola uh, in our country. My name is Muyembe Jean-Jacques, and uh, I was involved in many, many, many um, 
outbreaks of, uh, of Ebola in my, in my country. I will happy um, to, to see you uh, in my class to share my experience with you. Thank you.